Good morning everybody. Welcome back to another quick video on how to mine Flux on Windows 10. So the first thing you want to do is go grab yourself a wallet, zellcore.io. You can use that on Windows, Mac, Linux, Google Play, Android, Apple iPhone, and Huawei, or however you say that. Uh, download and install that. Next thing you want to do is choose a mining pool. I am choosing twominers.com as my mining pool. So you're going to want to come to the home page, click on sell cash, and we're going to say quick, quick, quick start. We want to go ahead and get uh, G miner for Nvidia. If you have AMDs, they're recommending LOL miner. So we're going to click on that. We're going to come down and look for the link to g minor or to github so here it is click on github you'll click on the g minor for windows you're going to download that that'll probably go to your downloads folder all right so in your downloads folder you will have G minor. Um, I already downloaded it and extracted it. <clears throat> so you're going to right click on this and extract to um, G minor to Windows 64 or whatever zip program you use. Just unzip it. Here you're going to go down to Zell Cache. You're going to want to edit this. I've already set my mine up here. Um, but what you'll do is you'll come back here and you will grab dashboard copy this paste that here get your wallet address paste that here put a dot and then whatever you want to name this uh, mining rig I guess you could say once you do that you'll file hit save there we go then we can go ahead and double click on that and let's see if it starts mining If you have issues and it says access denied, sometimes you'll have to come over into your Windows security and you'll have to come in and you'll see that it blocked it in today's and you'll have to come in, hit allow on device and hit start action and then you can close that out and then it will allow you to start mining. There we go. So we have this on its stock settings except for fan on 100. So we started out at 60.9 souls, 60.2, 239 watts, ouch, that is a lot. So for me, most people want to start with the memory clocks first, but I know that we're going to be able to lower our power consumption, so I'm going to drop it down to 80 to lower our temperatures and not have to use so many watts while we get ready to tune this. So we'll start at an 80 power limit and go from there. Sixty-one point four. Let's see what our watts drop down to after we hit seventy-nine power limit. While we're waiting for this to catch up, what you'll want to do after you start mining, you're going to want to check your payouts. So you're going to want to take your wallet address, go back to two miners, make sure you're already on the flux, put in your wallet address, search. All right. So it's already registered that the card is mining. I like to put it on night theme. Here you have your workers, rewards, 
This will give you your average of what you're making. Um, payouts. It's not giving me anything here. Notifications. You can put in your email address and then your IP, the last four digits. It'll ask you to verify that next and you can have notifications that if your miner goes offline it will email you. So that's how you're going to check what's going on with your mining. So here we are, we're down to 212 watts and we're at 60, 59, 57. And there you go. Souls. Thanks for watching.